now, uh, I'm hanging out with, uh, I think, a future star of the South African music scene. His name is Andrew Gilbert. He's 13 years old right now, but at the age of 12, he was selected among the South African Youth Orchestra, where the average age there is 20. And this young man here is phenomenal. How are you doing, brother? Thanks to you. Very, very well. Good to have you on the show. Thank you for making the time to come with us, because he's missing school right now. Say sorry to all the teachers. Sorry. 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 He'll be at school for, for, uh, for assembly at 12 yes. o'clock, though. Wow. So tell me about last year. It must have been an incredible uh, privilege for you to be selected into the South African Youth Orchestra, hey? It certainly was. It was so fun. I'm so happy that they actually chose me to actually go down to um, Parnassus Farm where we actually camped there yeah. for 10 days. And we meet new different people every single year. We get new music, we get a nice conductor too, and uh, we just have fun there. It's a jewel. And I hear, oh, it's, uh, it's a jewel. I dig that. I hear that you're not a stranger to performing either. Ilana met you, uh, she says, when you were about this high, some, somewhere in Santon, performing with Prime Circle. So you've been doing this for quite a while. Yes, I have. I've been playing the violin for seven years by, by, by my teacher, Irene Sonoff, who was taught by the best violinist teacher in the world, wow. um, David Ostrach in Russia. That is amazing. And, and so when you look to your future, I mean, it, it, yeah, I, I can't believe I'm even asking you this now, but what do you want to achieve with your skills of playing violin? Well, I want to achieve to be really good, like practice more and more. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to get an Antonio Strali virus that's $5 million. Oh, is, is that, a, is that a, a violin? That's the violin, the best violin that you can get is in Italy. And Antonio Stadivaris. Yes. Well, if there's anybody from Antonio Stadivaris watching this right now, maybe you want to give this guy a little bit of a sponsorship. <laughs> what is it that you love so much about your violin? Because, I mean, immediately you're talking about a $5 million uh, <laughs> violin that you want to own. What do you love so much about it? I love the sound that comes out of it. Like, once you put your bow down, obviously you need more like, lots of practice to get the right technique. And, but once you got that um, sweet tone, yes. it's quite amazing to, like, you know, play, if, yeah. if I might put it that way. Tell me this though, I mean, there are, there are kids out there that are, let's say, good in, in playing piano, maybe playing rugby, sports, or anything like that. How do they become as good as you are at what you do? Like, what do you need to do to become so good? Uh, what you need to do is have the right teaching skills. Yeah. So if you don't have the right teaching skills, you can't be as good as, like, um, Joshua Bowles, for example. Um, compared to the rugby boys and piano boys, they have to do right teaching skills and yeah. that to have lots of practice to do it. Yeah, so get a good coach yes. and put in lots of hours of practice. Yes. How many hours do you put in? I put in one hour a day at least and concert time at least two to three hours. Wow, that is incredible. That's, that's dedication right there. That's how you reach the top. So where can people see you performing? Where are your next recitals? And mm, I don't really have... On the 12th, mm -hmm. I'm playing at Sanyo, um, South African National Youth Orchestra. Mm -hmm. and. We can book your. Um, I don't know exactly where the place is. Don't worry, we'll get we'll get that information. And it's on, you can find you can book your tickets and copy tickets. Yeah. <clears throat> And we're playing on the 12th, the 14th, and the 15th of December. That is fantastic, dude. And I can't wait to hear you playing on the show. We're going to take a very quick ad break while you get your violin warmed up. And we will be right back with more with Andrew Gilbert right here on Expresso. 